go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another Christmas a Decorate with me. I am so excited for this video because we will be decorating my dining room table as well as my coffee bar area and I'm really excited about the theme I chose. I actually went with a Santa's workshop theme and I absolutely love it. I am so happy I decided to follow my gut and change up the theme with every space in my living area so my living room has a different theme than my kitchen and my kitchen has a different theme than the dining room does and I just love how everything came together and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I am also super excited to share with you guys that this video has a very exciting giveaway. You guys will have to make sure you watch through to get to that point where I talk about it and I let you guys know how to enter. But yes, I'm just really excited to go ahead and get started. If you guys missed my previous two videos, I will link them up here. But the first one is decorating my living room and the second one is decorating my kitchen. And I really do think they came out really cute and I enjoyed how my decor looks. I've been enjoying it. So if you haven't watched those, I will have them linked down below in the description box as well. So you guys can head on over when you are done watching this video. But yeah, let's go ahead and start decorating. If you guys enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. I promise you won't regret it. And make sure you turn on that notification bell so you are notified of upcoming videos. And I think that is everything. Let's go ahead and start decorating. Okay friends, so I'm going to go ahead and get started over on my dining room table and I am first layering this table runner. I actually got this off of Amazon on a whim. I ended up not liking how the one I had originally bought from the Hearth and Handline I didn't like how it looked here. I just feel like the green color was a little bit too dual for what I was trying to go for. So then I ended up returning a few things and I bought these cute little bottle brush trees from Hobby Lobby. They actually have a twinkle lights in them and they do light up which you guys will see in just a second. And I thought they were so cute and after the 50% discount they were not as expensive as you would expect the bigger ones were five dollars each while the smaller ones were about 350 i believe and i just think for them a lighting up that is a really good price and then you guys just saw that i did put some of my gold candlesticks back up and these cute little lanterns are from hobby lobby they are actually black and i spray painted them red last year but i did see them again in black this year and inside of them i just have a some tea light candles that are battery operated so they are super easy to put in there and just have them lit up and then I decided to go ahead and add these cute nutcrackers I found again at Hobby Lobby they were in the arts and crafts section so they are meant to be painted and at first I thought I was gonna paint them but I ultimately decided that I really liked the wood texture they added to my dining room table. It also tied in really good with my mantle. If you guys haven't seen that video, I have a lot of wood elements over on my mantle and I just felt like carrying this over to the dining room table was a good idea. But that is everything I did for my dining room table. I think it looks really cute. It's a very simple tablescape, but it just works. And I like the simplicity yet Christmassy touch that it has. And yeah, I just love it. I don't know. Let me know down below what you guys think. Love and joy. Love and joy. beautiful. Kissing on a mistletoe. Baby, we As long as I spend this day with you 
Now I have never done table settings but I saw these plates and I really love them so I decided to give it a try and I'm just using these napkins from the Hearth and Hand line for fall and these cute little wooden rings I actually found at a vintage shop and just some random branches of greenery, these cranberries as well as a cinnamon stick and that is everything. I don't plan on keeping these up all the time but I do think it adds such a cute touch to the table and if we ever do need to use them I have these cute Christmas plates but yeah that is basically it for the cute little table settings all the Christmas songs that we love get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love and then why we're gonna go inside and drink all right friends so as you guys can see i already have my santa's workshop sign up and then i use this cute little it's actually like a wooden shelf i got it from um hobby lobby a while back but it's not a full out shelf so it's kind of like a faux shelf i would say so i just used it to frame the workshop sign and i had to do this off of camera because i actually did it the day that i fixed like the patches and the holes and all of that so i wasn't really filming but nonetheless this is what i have going on and then i have my mug shelf right below so i'm just gonna go ahead and add one of these big christmas trees i have the small one right here but they are attached currently by some twinkle lights because I had to do that before I put them up here. But one of them is gonna go on the shelf and one of them is gonna go down below on the lockers that I have. So that is why I'm carrying them both. But they are attached by only one twinkle light. So have to carry them together. Ah. Okay, we'll mess with the bottom part in just a minute. But I'm just going to leave this tree right here and then I'm going to add a couple more things. I do want to keep it a bit simple since I have a lot of color going on. As you guys saw over on my table, I'm going to have some color going on here. So I wanted to keep the top of it as simple as I could. So I will be right back. Okay, so the next piece that I have is going to be this wooden corbel. I got it from Hobby Lobby and because I have this signed pretty framed by the top, I thought it would be nice to add this one over in this corner. Hopefully you guys can see to just kind of finish off that framed look and just add some more wood texture to this place even though there's already plenty of wood going on but I still thought it looked really cute and I think the next pieces kind of go with like a workshop theme which is what I'm trying to go for in my dining room slash coffee area but I have this little wooden shoe mold and I don't know if Santa was like making shoes wouldn't he need a shoe mold so I'm kind of I don't know I kind of think this goes with the workshop but it might not nonetheless I love that it is wooden and I'm thinking about placing this here along with this wooden spool. I think that's how you pronounce it. But I actually saw my friend um, Danielle over at Homemade Vintage do this to one of hers. But she actually used uh, some ribbon and she basically tied it around to kind of make it seem like there's still something on the spool. Which I thought was awesome because obviously to wrap presents at the workshop Santa is going to need some ribbon so I just thought that was such a neat idea and I'm going to go ahead and do it as well but I'm going to put this here and then I'm just going to put the little shoe mold on top like that and that is everything for the top of the shelf now let's move on to the mugs which is actually what I'm really excited is adding the mugs I'm pulling out some of my Ray Dunn and my cute workshop mugs so let's move down here okay so I'm sorry if like the Sun is blurring on this side but it's kind of a weird time to film especially now that the Sun has been going down so early but nonetheless I'm gonna go ahead and just fill up these compartments with my Ray Dunn mugs and then I'm gonna hang my cute little workshop Santa ones down here and then yeah Okay, so these are the mugs I was talking about. They're just like Santa in his workshop working on his cute little toys. And I just love these. I found them at Hobby Lobby for... That is my fridge. I'm sorry, you guys. I never know when my fridge is going to decide to make ice. But nonetheless, I just love these so much. I got them at Hobby Lobby. And I got a total of four. I think there was only four or five different designs, but basically each one has a different design. 
And if you guys can hear that, that's probably Jonathan working on the giveaway, which I will talk about in just a minute. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But nonetheless, yeah, like I was saying, these mugs are just so cute. This video is full of distractions today, I guess. I apologize, but that is life, you know. But this is the next one. And the next one. Isn't it so adorable? I love it so much. Okay, so I actually feel like there's a little bit of red that is missing here since I have some red over with the ribbon, the sign has some red, the Raiden has some red. So I'm just going to go ahead and add these cute little Santa Espresso mugs up there just for that pop of red that is in the handle. And I'm just going to stack one on top of the other just like that. And that adds a little bit of red up in that corner. But then let's go ahead and move on to the bottom part of my coffee area. Now for the actual table of my coffee bar, I just went ahead and kept everything as it was and added this cute little Santa mug underneath my pour over system. And on top of the lockers on the side, I just added my letters to Santa mailbox. You guys saw that I put this little tree here. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add a cute gold rocking horse i found at goodwill quite a while back i've actually used it a few times in my decor and i just felt again like it added the perfect workshop touch to this area i just imagine santa claus building a bunch of these cute little rocking horses so i thought it was perfect quirky is mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love and then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire because all i want is to spend this day with you let me give you a christmas moment will fill with love and joy mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with Alrighty, everyone so now that we have finished decorating the coffee bar it is time to talk about the giveaway i know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this point in the video so if you made it this far thank you so much and before i actually get into the giveaway i just wanted to tell you guys how grateful i am for each and every one of you honestly if it wasn't for you i would not be at this point in my youtube journey and i've dreamt about having a youtube for a really long time so I'm just forever grateful for your support and for you choosing to watch my videos it just means so much to me and as much as I want to give something to each one of you that's kind of not possible but I still try to include as many giveaways as I can and I always will hence this giveaway and this one is an exciting one because as many of you guys guessed it we will be giving away this a mug shelf back here i get questions about it all the time and as you know my husband did build it for me and it just makes it so special that he built it with so much love and that it's such a unique piece but it is a little bit sad when i get asked where i got it from and i can't actually give you guys a link but because he also loves you guys so much for just making me so happy he actually built a second one of these mug shells for me to give away to one of you so that is what the giveaway is and i'm so excited for it and like i said it is open to the first hundred comments so get ready but all i want you guys to comment is your favorite or your most memorable christmas presents I know that I went with like a workshop theme for my coffee bar slash my dining room table. So I just kind of wanted to know what is your most memorable present. I have to say that I have two. So one of them is a very emotional one and that is the last present I got from my dad the Christmas before he passed away. It is a gold watch and I haven't even worn it because I'm just so afraid of damaging it but i love that watch so much and it is taken care of and tucked away because it just reminds me so much of him 
And my second most memorable present is one Jonathan gifted to me about three years ago. He actually built my first advent calendar. He built me one last year, but the first one he ever built is just uh, so precious to me. And I remember the excitement I felt when he brought it out. And yeah, I just absolutely loved it so much. And I'm just curious to know what is the most memorable present you have received. And yeah, definitely just make sure you are subscribed and you give this video a thumbs up. And that is all. But again, it is open only to the first 100 comments so head on down to the description box and let me know what the most memorable present you got and that is it let's go ahead and finish up this video and that is everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it because i definitely had so much fun decorating and it definitely made me so happy the giveaway will be open for about a week make sure your notification bell is turned on because i will be announcing the winner in one of my upcoming videos and as always if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and don't leave without subscribing if you have not and i will see you in my next one bye Reach a place we could stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away